Hello and welcome to a brief overview of the Dalton plan. First I'm going to talk a little bit about myself. Uh, my name is Matthew Rineker. This is my 17th year in education, 13 of which have been at international schools around the world, mostly here in Asia. I'm currently uh, working as the Associate Head of School for Academics and Curriculum in Vietnam. Uh, prior to that I had spent six years working at CDS. I also have experience as a history teacher, um, mostly at the high school level and teaching AP US and world history. Uh, and I'm currently working on my doctorate in curriculum and instruction. Uh, my focus today is going to be on the assignment packet um, and uh, describing what it is and uh, what it entails. Um, and so as a department head it's at, at Dalton School, uh, oftentimes, you know, we get new teachers in, you know, this would be a, a new process. They were used to writing lesson plans, but not um, these overarching comprehensive unit plans or assignment packets. And I'd often describe these as kind of like mini syllabuses. And I think that's a great way to de describe what they are because, you know, they, they incorporate a lot of different things. But what they essentially do is, you know, give the students the, the big picture. Um, the assignment packet is described as uh, the contract between a student and the teacher and really defines the requirements that the student uh, needs to do for a particular unit. The assignment packet is introduced at the first program and it is given to students in a much more simplistic form and then it grows in complexity uh, through middle and high school. Now uh, what you design how you design the assignment packet is really up to the teacher and the school and how you how and what you want to include is really important. Um, I found that you know having a structure or a template for a department is really beneficial um, however, uh, as a curriculum coordinator at Chung Dalton School, um, I thought it, we then decided that it was important to have an all-encompassing outline for the entire uh, secondary level, um, taking out a few things for the middle school. Uh, so, you know, having a simpler, you know, assignment packet for the middle school and then a much simpler form uh, for the first program. But some of the things that you can include in the assignment packet or just some common obligations, you know, class or environment, how you want the students to behave. Uh, this shouldn't be a comprehensive list of uh, rules and regulations because that just gets too long and doesn't need to be in there. Um, but overall, you'd be designing uh, the assignment packet that incorporates classwork, homework, projects, deadlines, and checkpoints. Um, the Dalton assignment packet um, is uniquely designed to do a bunch of different things. Uh, what's great about it is you know, like I said earlier, it describes the big picture and the Dalton plan is structured around the idea that students are at the center of their, uh, uh, at the center of the work. And so we want students to be leading their own, leading their own learning. And so it's hard to do that if the student doesn't know what they're supposed to be doing. <coughs> Excuse me. And the assignment packet really, uh, you know, helps the student understand because it, it outlines from beginning to end, the purpose of the entire unit, what they're supposed to be working on, why they're supposed to be working on, and helps the student understand the purpose and the big picture. So they are then uniquely able to, you know, jump in and, you know, um, you're allowed to give them different opportunities within the class, give them work time, give them uh, group work time to really jump in and, and, and take charge. Another thing that the assignment packet does is you know, it provides support for, you know, this independent learning through essential questions, you know, research suggestions, and then having will, really well-developed uh, outline and checkpoints, making sure that uh, you've outlined the entire unit or, you know, if you, you've designed a unit for the entire quarter and it's like seven weeks long, you want to make sure that each day you have a certain um, certain aspects of the, you know, if it's a project, you want to make sure that there are certain aspects or deadlines are, are incorporated within the calendar. Another great thing that the assignment packet does is it provides interdisciplinary uh, learning experiences. Um, this is often one of the, the most challenging aspects of the assignment packet, uh, but one of the most beneficial as it, it allows teachers to really incorporate different disciplines. So as a history teacher, trying to get in some science um, knowledge or some math knowledge within within the assignment packet is really important because it shows that you know our, our disciplines are not these standalone bubbles that we often overlap with different disciplines 
And that's really important for the students to understand as they go out into the real world. Uh, the, another great thing is the assignment packet promotes self-efficacy um, as the first uh, one says that, you know, it provides a purpose for the work, but, you know, when you hand the student the assignment packet, you're also uh, giving them, as I said earlier, a contract. And so they need to follow along, and then they have to be uh, looking at the, the assignment packet and learning when to manage their time, learning organizational skills, and knowing when they should be reading, you know, certain uh, chapters of a book or a certain... Uh, looking at certain websites on a certain days and different things like that. And it also allows for flexibility and learning. Uh, one of the great things about um, designing an assignment packet or an assignment unit is you can tailor it to individual students. So, uh, for example, if you're going to give a project, um, you can, you know, so you can say uh, it's all it's going to be PowerPoint for everybody. Or you can design it in a way that, you know, you choose a platform that you're comfortable with and allow students to really explore different platforms um, to, to basically complete the same task, but just in different ways. Uh, the assignment packet, uh, the way it's structured and what it looks like really is going to depend on the school. And so this is going to be a really important process uh, as you talk to you know, your admin team. Uh, here at CDS, or when I was at CDS, this is what what we had determined to be should be involved or sh should be incorporated into every assignment packet at the secondary level. Now, as you can see, this is a comprehensive list of lots of different things. But what's important to understand is that this should not be seen as just a checklist, and that's uh, that became a problem for us over the years as. Um, you know, we, we created a checklist for teachers and, the, and when, you know, they, they gave their assignment packets to their department head to be reviewed or went over as a department, you know, it just became a simple check. Does, does this include a term introduction? Does it include a topic overview? Does it include essential questions? And the problem became that it did, it did include all these things, but we didn't look at the quality of these things. And that's what the most important aspect of the assignment packet is, is what's the quality of the work within? Um, one of the things that we decided as a school and when I became curriculum coordinator at the school, um, you know, we, we embraced, uh, the understanding by design model and framework of unit planning. And I think that that had been, that was a game changer for us as we incorporated, uh, a lot of the, the vocabulary and different, uh, aspects of the UBD framework into our assignment packet. Um, now, as a school, that is going to be something that um, you will need to decide, and I can and, and would love to talk to you more about that that uh, incorporation process and how it looks like, and can provide examples. Um, but for years, um, you know, this is our basic assignment packet, and it worked well. Pro part of the problem, as I said earlier, is is we kind of fell into a, a routine as you know uh, teachers became. As teachers stayed on and, and we became uh, more comfortable with uh, the assignment packet and you know kind of using the same thing year after year um, so anyway uh, I hope you enjoyed kind of a brief overview of the assignment packet uh, I can't wait to talk to you more about it and answer any questions you might have um, so please uh, I'll talk to you uh, on the 31st thank you